Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Robert Gutierrez, the voice of Seahawks Athletics. I'm joined by Daniel Finn, head men's and women's tennis coach for Kaiser University. But we're going to talk a little bit about ITA Small College National Championships coming up. Not exactly a season preview just yet. We will get there. But ITA Small College National Championships in Surprise, Arizona for the first time in school history. Kaiser University will be represented. And we're not just sending one player. We're sending three. Coach, talk a little bit about how big of a deal it is to be in this ITA Small College National Championship Tournament in Arizona. Uh, it's a huge deal. Um, the, take the mic. Uh, no, they, um, it's a great big deal. I mean, it's a great honor for the players. Um, we're in one of the hardest regions in the country. To make it out uh, says a lot about the players. Um, making it um, for Arthur getting through the draw, um, I think we had six guys in the quarterfinals of our draw. So for him to beat his own teammates, uh, getting through that and uh, beating some high-level players was huge. Uh, I know our doubles team, they were seeded fourth. Um, nobody expected them to make it. Um, honestly, they came out and showed everybody um, another level of doubles when they played. You know, like you said, we had six in the quarterfinal. That's six Kaiser individuals, players, in the quarterfinal with eight spots. I mean, how big of a deal was that playing against all the other teams in the state of Florida? Well, it was huge. I mean, and at the uh, the end of that day, I mean, we had four in the semis, so the tournament was over. And in my aspect, I didn't have to coach anymore, so that was great. Uh, we had three doubles teams in the semifinals, the doubles on the boys as well. So it was all over a team effort. I mean, even at the tournament, even though it was individual, you heard the players screaming and yelling and supporting for each other. I mean, it's it's such a close-knit group. I mean, whoever came out of that draw, they they were all very supportive and happy for each other. So again, just to reset, Kaiser University sending three players, a singles player and two players in the doubles category to surprise Arizona for the ITA Small College National Championships coming up in, well, just a few few weeks away. We'll leave Monday. Leave Monday, even better. So the teams will have to deal with Matthew and then head out for Monday. Exactly. Hopefully everybody stays safe. Absolutely. Hopefully everybody out there stays safe here in West Palm and wherever you're watching from. But, Coach, let's talk about Arthur really quickly, the player who will represent Kaiser in singles. 27 and 0 to start his college career. 28. 28 and 0. He informed me the other day that uh, that number wasn't right. They're 28 and 0. 20. <laughs> Arthur is 28 and 0 to begin his college career. You know, and we'll have him on a little later. But how big of a deal is that for a player to come into college and be absolutely dominant? I, it's unheard of. I mean, uh, I've coached for over 10 years, and I've never had a player show that kind of dominance. I don't care if you play number one or number six in the lineup. Every day having to bring it at that level it just says a lot about him. I mean, and to get through the tournament as well uh, in the fall. I mean, he wasn't just playing number fours and number three seeds of other teams this fall. He was playing everybody's best player. So to get through that tournament says a lot about him. And, I mean, the young man just works hard. He comes out here every day. He busts his tail. And, I mean, that's all you can ask for him. Couldn't be happier for an individual to have that kind of success. Um, you know, hopefully it will keep going. You know, we go back and we look at expectations, and obviously coaches have, hold a lot higher expectations than, than a lot of people. But this is a team that did a lot of firsts last year, that did a, their first conference title win, first championship, you know, as a team overall. Not only that, but you beat a Division I team, an NCAA Division I team in NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology. You know, how high are your expectations for this year, knowing that, hey, our fall schedule, ITA, you know, regional state championship went awesome. We're sending three players. How big of a deal is it? How high are your expectations for this? Uh, to be honest, we don't have expectations. My only expectation every day is to be better today than we were yesterday and to be better tomorrow than we are today. Um, as long as the players buy into that and they keep that focus and they keep that intensity every day and, and push forward, then the results follow. You know, and that's the biggest reason. That's why we've had success. That's why we had success last year. That's why Arthur's been so successful this fall. Um, he's not worried about the tournament. He's not worried about, you know, the result itself. You know, he knows the result's going to take care of itself as long as he comes out and plays free and plays hard. Absolutely have to agree with that. Kaiser University sending three players to the ITA Small College National Championships in Surprise, Arizona. The team leaves Monday. And, of course, you can follow all the action on KUSeahawks.com. Your source for all things Kaiser University Athletics. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you Let much. you get back to practice. Kaiser University sending three players to the ITA Small College National Championship. You've been listening to the voice of Seahawks Athletics, Robert Gutierrez, on the Seahawks Sports Radio Network.